poem has means of expressing how one gets from one place to another. For example, I went from Port Angeles to Victoria. I went by canoe. I went to Seattle by ferry. I went through Squim to Port Gamble and so on. In this video, you'll learn how to link places with ways of getting there. In linking places on a journey, there are three basic elements that are indicated in column. Your source, where the journey starts, way, the route or mode of travel, and destination, where the journey ends. First, we'll go over source and destination. I go to Elwha from Port Angeles. Each of these models indicate the source and destination without indicating the way. Note that in column, as in English, either the source or the destination may come first. There are two ways of indicating the destination, with the a prefix or with the a prefix preceded by the verb o. Oh. In the first three model sentences, the verb hiya is the main verb, but it isn't required. The verb hiya in the first three sentences could be replaced with just about any verb of motion to indicate mode of travel. You could use the verb stung, walk. For example, stung sind a eschwad I walked to Elwa from Port Angeles. New vocabulary words. Si ash. Si ash. Tukwoma. Tukwoma. Quinayash. Quinayash. Stima. Stima. Ye. Ye. And angoang. Angoang. Now on to way and source. I go by canoe from Port Angeles. I go by canoe to Victoria from Florida. Were you paying attention because they used Snuff instead of quo when they said the model sentences. I hope you caught that. Anyways, the source is indicated using the cha, which means come or go from prefix that you learned in some place expressions video. If you mention both the source and the destination, as in the second model sentence, either can go first. So you've got Huntington at the quo, Jeans Oh Matulia Chachwitzen. I go by water to Victoria from Port Angeles. It states your way, your destination, then your source. You look at the second sentence. I go by water from Port Angeles to Victoria. And this has your way, then your source, and then destination. Now on to way and destination. I go through that. 
I go through the door or on the road. I go by canoe. And I go by canoe to Victoria. The word chaning means go by way of, or go via, or go through. It can be used as an intransitive verb just as a subject as in the first two examples, but it is more commonly used followed by the a prepositional phrase as in the other examples. The word hunting means go by way of, or go via, or go through. It can be used as an intransitive verb with just a subject as in the first two example sentences, but it is more commonly used followed by an a prepositional phrase as in the other examples. When you want to specify the way with hunting, use a prepositional phrase as in since the word suit can mean either door or road, this sentence can also mean I go by way of or via the road. The way specified in the prepositional phrase is the route of travel. In tanning zinatsa suit, the way specified in the prepositional phrase is the route of travel. In tanning zinatsa suit, I go by the road or through the door. The road or door is the route. Tunning is used only to specify the route. You cannot, for example, use tunning to not snow to mean I go by canoe. The canoe is the mode of travel, not the route. The special suffix aish is used to make a verb out of the mode of travel. So snow aish means go by canoe. Snow aish sind amatulia. I go by canoe to Victoria. When specifying a route, you can even use a particular place. In Tanning Zinat Matulia, I went through by way of Victoria. Victoria is the route. Tanning can be combined with skeng, go out, or ayu, go in, or other go verbs in this pattern. Skeng sim Tanning atza su. I go out through the door. Or ayu sim Tanning atza su. I enter through the door. Note that these sentences, sush can only mean door because road wouldn't make any sense in this context. There are many verbs in columns that like skeng, go out, or ayu, go in, includes the notion go. These are called direct motion verbs because they indicate both going and the direction of motion. Another useful example is t'akwi, go across. A destination, for example, Victoria, can be specified with t'aning using a form of the verb oh, go there in the pattern shown in the final model sentence. I go by water to Victoria or I go by road to Jamestown. Let's break this last example down and analyze it. So remember that this can be a sentence by itself, that first five words, I go by way of the road. But the last three words specify the destination. The last part of the sentence begins with the article chi, making it a noun phrase. The verb oh is converted to a noun with the, pre with the s prefix. So note that the prefix on the oh agrees with the subject of tanning or whatever the main verb is. In this construction, it must always agree. There's a chart to make it clear. The actual place name in this case would be Jamestown must be preceded by the be at prefix a. Uh. A literal translation of the last part of the sentence would be my going there to be at Jamestown. And a literal translation of the whole sentence would be, my going there to be in Jamestown was by way of the road. This last part of the sentence does not stand alone. It must be preceded by a clause with tunning as the main verb. 
This is the pattern for specifying a route and a destination. New vocabulary word, Tchaikwiyach. And our last Kwanawi. Quite 